we want to test the series below for convergence using the root test. To apply the root test, given the summation of a sub n, we take the limit as n approaches infinity of the nth root of the absolute value of a sub n, which will equal L, and if L is less than one, then the series converges. If L is greater than one or approaches infinity, then the series diverges, and if L equals one, the test fails to provide any information. And the root test is helpful when the series is raised to the nth power. But you notice in our case, we do have two n divided by the quantity seven n plus two raised to the nth power, and therefore the root test is the appropriate test. So we'll take the limit as n approaches infinity of the nth root of the absolute value of two n divided by the quantity seven n plus two raised to the nth. But when we take the nth root of this fraction raised to the nth power, this simplifies perfectly to just one factor of two n divided by the quantity seven n plus two. So this gives us the limit as n approaches infinity of just two n divided by the quantity seven n plus two. For a quick review of how this simplified, if x is positive, if we take the nth root of x to the nth, this would simplify perfectly to one factor of x, but we can also think of the nth root as taking something and raising it to the one over n power as we see here. If we multiply our exponents here, again it simplifies perfectly to one factor of x. And now to find our limit as n approaches infinity, since the degree of the numerator and denominator are the same, they're both degree one, this limit is equal to the ratio of leading coefficients, which would just be two sevenths. And since two sevenths is less than one, by the root test, this series converges. So we'll say by the root test, since the limit as n approaches infinity of the nth root of the absolute value of a sub n, in this case equals two sevenths, which is less than one, the series converges. I hope you found this helpful.